Yo, what is up, homies? It is your boy, Ryan Mahalik here. We are 32-5 and five right now. Not the best record. We've been having some angry games, frustrating games, but we're hopping into the BFP Coliseum. We are hopping right in there. Yes, sir, ski. And the recording is going. We have 47% on the device. Um, And I'll catch you guys in the first game. Yes, sir. Looks like for our first game, we got Mr. Puddin. Pretty cool. He's got 10 mil meds on him. A losing record, though. Interesting, interesting. Riverside is the map, it looks like. And we'll be... Oh, he is skipping Riverside. Okay. Hot tub. We could go Dartling Bomb. But he doesn't have a great record. So I reckon we go Cobra here. Hmm. Or is that a fake record? I'm not sure. We're going to go Cobra either way. If he goes NG, unlucky, but, you know. Cobra is a bit more fun than Dartling Bomb, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I'll get these Cobras down. Oh, he's going boat. What the heck? What the heck, buddy? Boat on hot tub. Alright, you do you, I guess. He's sending me as well. We're gonna have to, um... Just save up straight up for a um, mortar here at 36. There we go. Plop that bad boy down. And we're vibing. He's already got his grape shot tay up. So if he's on boat boomer, or even any boat strategy, he's going to struggle to adjustment. There's only like two boat spots. So, yeah. Boat is just not good on this map. I don't... Like, boat's viable on pretty much every map with water. Except this map, because there's only two spots. But boat's just such a good tower in most cases that it's good on any map that has water on it. Both probably the best tower in the game right now, in my opinion. Besides farm, of course, but I'd say boat is the best tower in the game right now. Or the most, like, overpowered tower. I don't know. That's my opinion. You can have your own. That is fine. Alright. Oh, we're going to be a dollar off, aren't we? Oh, what? How do we get that? Wait. Doing the calculations, we should have been a dollar off there, but, you know, I guess we got an extra dollar somehow. We got those money hacks, boys. We got those money hacks going. Forced the double-cheeked up grape shots on his side. Filling up that whole pool already. Uh, we're gonna just get more Cobras up here. And we'll send him yells in round eight, but until then, we'll Cobra farm. Yeah, we're vibing right now. And we're gonna send him some yellows here. Probably force a boost, hopefully. Maybe we'll see his third tower here. And he does boost, fair enough. Get up another Cobra and we'll send him on round nine. Another yellow rush. Show his boomer. Boomer 321. What the heck? What is he doing? I guess that handles. I didn't send enough, but interesting. For sure. Heli. Okay. Well, that actually makes more sense then. That's an actual boat strategy you can go on this map. Because there is. It's mostly dependent on the heli, and the boat just helps you greed. So that actually makes sense. Not a bad strategy, to be honest. Keep this on close, what the heck? Alright, we're vibing. 
we are vibing right now. We'll probably plan on a hard round 18 adjustment and just go from there. His farms are bad. So it's like... We're going to force some defense here. Forced a boost, solid. That's boost number two. But yeah, his farms are bad. He's not going to get a BIA. Or if he does, he's probably going to die to adjustment. I think I have to boost here. I don't know. We don't have enough Cobras to handle that, to be honest. Especially with his balloon boost he did. I'm fine using a boost, though. And we're just on round 18. We'll see if he plays this aggro, because he can't defend adjustment forever. So he's got to show us some aggression to have a chance in this game. So it looks like he's going to up another heli. Fair enough. He's going to need a lot of heli defense. Oh, it's pushing. That's his last boost. That's his last boost. And he's dead. All right, that is game one. I will catch y'all in the next one. Yes, sir. All right, so our next game here is against Mr. Nebula. He is smiling at us there. We'll hit him with a smile back. Smile for the camera, my guy. All right. Roadblock. Roadblock. Yes, sir. Let's run it. He doesn't have a great record, so it should be a pretty easy game. We might just do a rush or something and kill him. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll start with an anti as well. Don't know what strategy he is going here. He's starting with his farm. Fair enough. Going dart. Why are you starting with your dart there? That's the spolt spot, my guy. Not the trippy spot. 259 equals start here. Oh, man just wants to go for a spolt right away. Okay. Okay. Interesting play. Interesting play, to say the least. I do not agree with it, but... Because... He's going to need defensatories here. See, that only pops like one layer of the pinks. It's just not good. And he didn't send me enough pinks either. We're um vibing against this. So it looks like he actually... What are you... What? Why is he not going for a trip dart? Interesting. So we get up our farm before him. I'm so confused what this guy's doing with his defense, to be honest. We're going to balloon boost him some blocks here. This will force defense for sure. See, look, this is just more expensive than two trip darts. I mean, of course he's going to handle yellows, but like, it's better to get the early farms here. Because a spolt's the same cost as a trip dart, essentially. So he basically has two trip darts and an O2. So I don't agree with this play of starting out with a spolt. He's going to have slightly cheaper round 8 defense with this way. But it's better to have cheaper defense early on in most cases, because you can just get ahead in farms, and then that farm lead will just take you away. All right, we shouldn't have greeted there. I admit it. I admit it. All right, we're fine now. We are fine. I admit it, another girl got me tripping. Broke my heart. Different. Caught sipping. I'm a down the whole bottle. Hard liquor. Okay. All right. Um, sorry. I don't know what that was. Okay. Round 10. He has his jug up already. So we can't really force anything. 
We're just going to farm on. Farmer Joe. It up. He looks like he wants to send me some stuff. We're fine against that. He forced a Clusty Busty. Who started that slang? I think it was No Monies who started the Clusty Busty slang. So, shout out to my guy No Monies. Okay, he's just getting up the ace already. He wants to wants to show off his ace micro. Let's see it, Nebula. Let's see the micro. Come on. Do a loop. Oh, nope. He does not want to show off the ace micro right now. Looks like. So we're just going to farm on. He has not forced our camo lead detection. What you doing, Nebula? Come on. I need, I need the Bluntonium darts, my guy. So we can't go for the round 14 BIA, sadly. We will go for a round 15 one, though. Actually, we could have went for round 14, but it would have been really risky. It would have been really risky. This is not very risky, though. Not very risky. All right. Since he's not sending us stuff, we're going to send him. I do not care, buddy. Get up that ODS. Oh, he just goes for a boost. And he's dead. All right. Well, GG's to Nebula, I guess. Okay. All right, buddy. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one here. Okay, we have found Mr. Nebula once again. How's it going, dude? Snowfall is the map. We will go Cobra here. And let's run it up. Mr. Nebs. Mr. Nebs. He is Farmer Joe, and of course, is he going to show off his T1 DFA skills once again? We will have to wait and see. Put these bad boys on strong. You always want your Kobas on strong for the most part. For the most part. So we got the double cheeked up wired funds, as you your boy always says. And he's turning off with the boat. Interesting, for sure. You don't really see boat on this map. But we are in the um, arenas, so lots of stuff I don't see normally in Koth here. Let's get our bomb down. We're fine against that. Keep you on close. Oh, that bomb explosion is so small, dude. Smaller than my peen. I mean, what? I did not say that. Okay. Uh, start. There's some blues over this. This should be pretty deadly against this boat. He also has pretty bad targeting on it. He has it on first, I think. Okay, now he has it on close. A little bit better targeting there. Close, he's gonna hit all of his grapes pretty much on first. Like half the grapes we're missing is not not what you want, boys. It's not what you want. We're vibing, though. Gonna get up a third wired funds before this round ends. Oh, he's got Boomer as well. Okay, yeah, he is gonna get absolutely destroyed by adjustment. It's gonna be gross. Alright, we're gonna Bloom Boost him some blocks here. He will probably be fine against this if he had good targeting, but I'm thinking he's gonna leak a decent amount here. Okay, he gets up his whole bionic. What the? What are you doing, my guy? What? You just got up a bionic in this. Oh, and you got it up again. In the same spot. Nebula, bro. Bro, come on now. What are you doing? Even a Lukian's mom can do better than that, my guy. Come on. The big Lukian. All right. Oh, now he wants to come out at me, dude. We'll boost against that bad boy. And he's sending, sending. Okay. Hit him with the... Oh, not Sia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well done. That's what I wanted. That is a well done rush. I did not expect him to come crazy like that. Okay, we're going to actually put Cobras down here, and that might look weird, 
But these are anti regrow lead spots, you know? They're anti regrow lead spots, boys. That's the purpose of them. Okay, we're going to have to get up a submarine here. One of the subs. And the sub spot on this map is absolutely goaded. I don't know why since Regro led, that's going to do nothing, my guy. Alright, bro, what are you doing, bro? What is you doing, my guy? We are absolutely fine. Uh, we'll probably start adjusting round 16, just because... There's no chance he defends anyways, there's two boat spots, like, come on. A bunch of camel ceramics, you're just gonna have to constantly, um, constantly turbocharge that bad boy, and then you're dead, pretty much. So yeah, round 16 adjustment we're gonna do. If he rushes me, we'll just get up a reactor, and it's an easy defend. Reactor plus all of our cobras will defend everything until mobs, so. We are absolutely vibing. What is he doing with his money, dude? He has, like... A lot saved up. He hasn't upgraded anything in ages, my guy. I mean, we have a lot saved up too, but we're going to fold adjust around 16. All right, there you go. He is rushing us, it looks like. If anything gets... No, nothing is getting through. Oh my gosh, the submarine spot's so good. Even though it's blue and boosted and everything. All right, see ya. See ya. I'm sorry, my guy. And GG's to um, Nebula for the second time in a row. All right, um, we'll see what the next uh, we'll see what the next game is. Ooh, we have found retired Cobra. Is this Dee's? I feel like it might be. No, it's Lee's team. It's Lee. What the heck? Or is that just? I'm confused. I don't know who this is actually, but some reason he's laughing at us. Come on now. Don't laugh at me, my guy. It's a bit rude. It's a bit rude to laugh at the big Mahalik. Ink blot. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, he skips. Let's go. Come on, dude. No one likes Glacier Melt. Such a trash map. We're gonna lose just because we're in Glacier Melt, dude. Who would ever pick this map, like, non-ironically, you know? Oh my gosh. I am not happy with this. Yeah. I'm sorry, my guy. I don't like this map either, okay? We're both we're both not happy with this, okay. 261 is the number you want. Did I really miss that balloon? We leaked, dude. We leaked! Oh, he leaked as well. GG's. We're tied. Oh, it's not 261. It's 259. It's 261 with Dartling. I'm dumb. Dude, we both just choking right now. We're choking it up. Me and retired Cobra here are choke buddies. Not sus. Not sus. Don't even comment it. I know you're typing away with your nimble fingers right now, boys. Don't even comment Ryan Mahalik sus or something. I am not sus. He's going for the second boat here. Um, I don't honestly know what the play is against pinks on this map. We are actually leaking a decent amount here. I want to go for my farm though. The start around six. And if you like balloon boost something, we'll probably boost against it. I don't really care about boosts too much. And he's not balloon boost. Oh, he is balloon boosting. Alright, well done. We'll balloon boost you. Take this back, my guy. And we force a second grape shot. Nice. Nicely done, Ryan Mahalik. Let's see if we can force a faster shooting as well. That'd be nice. Or else he's just going to constant leak. Because we have more defense in him. And we're leaking a decent bit, so... He's definitely going to leak if he 
does not get up defense to Tories. Which he is, as shown. So we both boosted there, fair enough. Is that the boomer spot? I wonder. No way, I'm dead. No! Holy shit, bro. Y'all didn't see anything. All right, time to focus up. Oh my gosh, dude. How did I almost die there? Oh no. Oh no, dude. Shit. He's probably gonna force me to sell. Die. Die, let's go, chat. Four lives. Let's go. Calculated. That was calculated, my guy. Let's go. Swag on him. GG's. I'll catch you on the next one. Get hyped. All right, next game. We have found I Angel win. Yes, sir. What is up, my guy? Ink blot. We'll honestly play this map because we have the side advantage here, so I'll abuse it unless he skips. Unless he skips. And he does skip, okay. Ghostly. Good map for me. I love I love me some ghostly coast. Both more to action. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck, have fun. See ya. What? What's up with the toxicity, my guy? Okay, he hits us with a good look at the end. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, he's showing off his, his farmer micro. Okay. We'll show off ours real quick. Decent. Not the best. I'm not that cracked on the mobile device right now. Uh, we'll go 260 eco here. Eight reds, two blues is the optimal send, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's the optimal send here. He goes for his grape shot. Okay, that is not a play I would do. I think going for the farm and tanking some leaks is much better, but you do you. Now we'll get up our grape shot, hey? So we leave 25 lives and we got like, what, four or five bananas on them probably? Yeah, definitely worth, definitely worth. Plus we'll just get more bananas over time as well because we're gonna get up our plantation before he does as well. So. I don't, ex I don't agree with the instant grape shot on this map. And he's aggroing with some blues here. Fair play. Um, he's not even going to force leaks, really. We can get up our faster shooting in time here. The pinks layered over might force some stuff. Put our boat on close here. And first, and we're fine. Dude, should we just take this farm lead even farther? Uh, we're going to force this faster shooting here. Just a few black balloons, and we do it. Nice. We'll send him some greens in round seven, mixed in with AI. See what this does. If he has mortar or another boat. And he's got mortar, fair enough. Cool. So look at this. We're up on farms, and we have forced defense on his side as well, which is great. Great. Uh, we'll get up our mortar against this. He hits us with the nice. So chances are, if he continues to aggro like this, he'll probably be dead round 13. You need two plants at least, and then sometimes it's sketchy defense for round 13. Uh, sending us some yellows. 
This won't do anything. All right, T. He hits us with a nice. What is it up with this guy, bro? Region yellows. Come on now, buddy. That's a CC level rush, not a BFB Coliseum. That's a CC rush. All right. Uh, Bloom boost him some whites here. Yeah, he's going to boost this or sell a farm or he's dead. And he boosts. Fair enough. He's dead round 13, I think. All right, GG's to um, I Angel, and we'll come in with our next game. We have Mr. Flow here with a losing record and 43 million meds. How are you getting all your meds, bro? You spending your mom's credit card on all those? Come on now. Hitting us with the heart eyes. All righty. We'll hit him with the, the heart eyes as well. Mr. Flow over there from Astronomic. Oh my gosh, we're so low on farmers. We need to spam some of these guys real quick. 250. How many can we get before we readies up? Can we get 300? 300? All right, cool. We got, how many did we get? We got, oh, we don't have farmer. Though, we don't know. Okay. Okay. Get that crisp anti-stall going. Oh, and he spikes the back. What is he going? Is he going Takiko here? And I think he's going Takiko. Rip. Rip in the chat for your boy. Uh, depends what his tack loadout is. I know a decent way to counter the tack eco strats with Cobra, so we definitely still have a chance here. Don't count us out. If he's going glue, we kind of try to outlast. If he's going ninja, we can um do some offensive push rushes against it. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But we should focus on anti-soul in these rounds and um causing leaks, I think, is the goal. So we'll, con we'll do our 2-2-1 two, two, rushes and get up Cobras while we do it. Oops, two, two, one. Two, two, one. This is the only way you can really force leaks on a blade shooter on this map. A bit of layering. And now we're gonna balloon boost him some blocks. This will force leaks for sure. He's going for another attack, fair play. We'll just constant send blocks his way. And we'll get up an adjustment. I will double adjust actually. This will cause some leaks. If he has ninja, he'll probably reveal it here. If he doesn't, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But yeah, he's leaking, leaking now. He does have ninja, okay. Fair enough. Oh, dude, we're about to do some 200 IQ plays later. You guys won't be expecting this. He's literally going to get rocked. Dude, you can't send me yellows here. You're about to get rocked so hard. You do not know what's coming your way. Round nine leads. Come at it. Come at me, dude. Round nine leads.
All right, looks like he actually afforded. Never mind. <laughs> it was still smart. So maybe he does have money. Oh well. I thought it was smart. We maybe should have done them earlier, like round eight. I think he'll be able to afford a. Oh, why did I not send camel leads? Oh, never mind. He went for it anyways. And he switches his Ring of Fire spot. Well, I guess the round 9 leads actually were pretty effective then, because it made him get up a bad Ring of Fire spot. You know? Okay, he's back to Ecoin. That's good for us. We want him to we want him to eco a lot in all honesty. For our game plan to work here. Which he is ecoing more. Awesome. Keep ecoing, my guy. You need eco. You need eco. Get all the eco you desire, my guy. We also don't have camel detection, but he does not know that. He does know that. I stand corrected. All right, here we go. We should have sent more, dude. We didn't send enough. Nope, you don't have camera detection. You don't have camera detection. GG's. Let's go, buddy. Yes, sir. Two OP, two OP. Next one. We have found Mr. Dilly once again on our clean slated account. What is up the Dilster? He's always out here in the arenas, I guess. Inkblot, hopefully he skips. He does skip, fair enough. Pinball wizard, ooh. We could pull out eco here. But he's gonna go eco as well. I don't wanna do eco v eco. That's not that fun. Area 52, fair play. We'll bring out Cobra here. We'll see what the Dilster rocks. If he goes tack mortar, that's the only strat I'm worried about very much. Tack mortar, that's the strategy I'm worried about. Probably going Wizville, I would guess. I would guess the Dilster goes Wizville here. Oh, we messed up our double wired funds. It's all good though. He didn't get a banana either. Oh, we're gonna spike right there. Keep these rounds short and sweet. And he goes for the wizard in a spot I don't agree with. You want your wizard inside of the circle. The fireball has better better splash radius inside of the circle so yeah you don't want it outside of it so i would place my wizard right around here inside of that circle so next time mr dilster if you're watching this i would do that and we messed up our third wired funds again i think that is just beautiful well he's gonna have to go for his lightning here And he does. He got the fireball up as well, so we forced a good amount of defense, actually. And he's sending us some red balloons, trying to force our mortar lore up. Which he will be successful in, but... Again, this I don't think this is beneficial to him, because... Um, with the mortar up, we can just anti all these rounds harder. Which is not what he wants... Okay, 
We're actually rushing wrong here. You don't want to rush with constant blocks. You want to send a few greens and then blocks. Even though greens and blacks are the same speed, since blacks pop into yellows and um, pinks, it actually layers over a bit and will cause damage over time. So that's how you cause damage against his current defense in round seven or in six a bit. You send some greens and then blocks. And then next round is where we're gonna force a lot of defense. So it goes straight for the double fireball. It's kind of what you wanna do. We can still force leaks through this though. We can still force leaks. His defense would be holding up better though if he had both um both what's it called? Wizards in the middle. Looks like he's fine though. So well done. Oh, we actually got up another fireball. I didn't realize that. So we actually forced defense. That's good. It's good for us. He, dude. He's farming way too well right now for my liking. All right, what to do? Start off with the camo. Does he not have village? He's got ice. Is he dead here? One life. Oh, Dilly. Dilly, come on now. Come on now. That was calculated. We all know that was calculated. He was doing those mathematician stuff during that rush. All right. This round's going to be rough for him. A bit of adjustment going in and some leads mixed in with some zebras mixed in with some is he gonna boost or is he dead it's easy to leak one life and he boosts all right let's go we have to get our camo detection now on round 17. oh i don't mean that i want to miss miss spy on our cobra No, you can't do that. Can't do that. Dilly, you just screwed yourself, my guy. You're dead this round to adjustment. Any boosts, awesome. He's dead here. Oh, he gets up the fourth tier ice. Oh, man. What a play. What a play. He's hanging in there. He's echoing at us now. Can we even do anything against him? I'm not sure. What do we do against a fourth tier ice? Hey, the region's actually gonna get bad though. If if he his wizards can't pop all of the um all of the white and zebra layers, the region's gonna get really bad really quick. Which I think is gonna happen. In all honesty. Those wizards aren't enough for the all the layers, I'm pretty sure. Especially on round 25. There's no way he's defending round 25 AI. 
There's just no way. He's about to die here. He's dead. The region's too crazy. Look at all the region on that bin. Look at all the zebras. You're dead. I'm sorry, Dilly. I'm sorry. It's over. I'm sorry, Dilster. There's no defending the region. The region's too strong. GG's to Dilly. And we'll cop in our next game. We have found Mr. Good Luck Winky Face. Okay, okay. Trying to send me a message or something? And he gives us a shocked emote. Yes, sir. Hi. Oh, he skips interchange. Area 52 once again. Okay, I am fine with this. Good luck to you too, my guy. Let's run it. Running it up, They're busy running in their mouth. Come on, ready up, my guy. There we go. He is ready. He is indeed ready. And he spikes the front. Probably going whiz tack. Hopefully not tack mortar. As I said before, we are not looking for tack mortar. Or he could be going some eco strat as well. I think we should be fine against eco strats, to be honest, though. Offensive push rushes can be very deadly. Is he going heli eco? Heli village sniper, maybe? That's a possibility. Well, we're going to need to get up a mortar here right away. We want to anti stole these rounds. All right. What's the move against Heli Village Sniper? He could be going Heli Village Ice. In which case, I think we just lose. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to counter Heli Village Ice. Maybe just strong early adjustment would be good. If he's going Heli Village Sniper, we're going to do some offensive push rushes. Heli Wizard? Okay. Never mind. He's going some weird strategy. He's going a weird strategy. I just realized we only have one wired fun, so let's get that other bad boy up. And we're vibing now. But with a heli eco strategy, there's no way you're going to get a ton of eco on a map like this where it's an anti-stall too. Yeah, he's not going to have that much eco. Uh, we're going to try to force some defense here. I don't think his current defense will handle this, but I could be wrong. We actually couldn't send very many greens, so I think he's going to vibe here. Dang, we're going to be $3 off that wired funds, sadly. Unfortunate. But we're fine now. Um, we'll force defense round eight. That'll be our goal. The mortar spot's so goaded on this map that we should be fine, honestly, unless he can send a ton of yellows. Do we force double fireballs? Or triple fireballs, actually. This man is cheeked up with the fireballs, dude. Oh my gosh, looking thick. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get that fire, that drag. Um, what am I saying? That Bernie stuff. Yeah, that's that's the word I was looking for. Okay. So we might honestly be able to all out this guy round thirteen, depending on what his last tower is. If it's tack, then GG. But you know, I don't know why he would start with heli and wizard if he has tack in his loadout though. I need to figure out what his third tower is before I can rush him. Village. Alright, yeah, I think we're going to all out. And he's dead. GG's. And we'll do one more game. 
Okay, looks like we found Ezekiel YouTube here on Hydro Dam. This is where we got our first L of the clean slate, so hopefully we do not get an L here. Boat Wiz it is. Um, I don't really like Boat Boomer, to be honest, but yeah. He's starting with his boat. I don't agree with that play. I did not. We will leak like seven lives, but we're gonna get a banana on him, so it's worth, in my opinion. Eight lives, no nine lives. Okay, whatever. What's the difference, you know? And we go 260 here, I'm pretty sure. And then we're gonna get up our grape shot, hey? And then we can get our farm up here as well. Solid, solid, solid. Nice. Uh, he is layering in pretty quickly. I'm. Lots of those reds are a waste. I'd just do it at the end of round three. Just so I can go straight into the blues. And then pinks on top. We're going to go for a faster shooting here. It looks like he's going for a second boat. Both of them are fair plays. So he's got the life lead. He sent us more stuff though. And he has used, I think, a spike. I think he's used one spike, I'm not sure. But we should be able to get our plant here. I don't think he can match. Yeah, he can't. This is gonna be the last game of the video, by the way, boys. So um, hopefully we end this video undefeated. That'd be pretty swag, I would think. That would be very swag status. Okay, what a bad layer. All right, he already got up his grape shot. I'll lay off the hammer until round seven. That was a bad rush, though. I don't know what I was thinking there. Round seven, we'll balloon boost him some stuff. And this should force the faster shooting or a bunch of leaks. Grains are not really worth it on this map unless you're trying to layer stuff. Because two grape shots handle greens pretty well. Blacks are going to leak, just cause just as many leaks and you spend less money on them, so... I think he's going to need to get up another faster shooting here, or faster shooting, unless you just want to leak a ton of lifes. I also think that his second boat spot's a bit off. You should put it a little bit lower in my opinion, but um, what do I know? I'm just a BTD player. He caused us to boost. That is fine with me. If he re-rushes, we'll get up a lightning. And he does. We're fine against that. Man's his face palming us left and right over there. I don't know what's up with this guy. He's a bit toxic, don't you think, boys? A bit toxic, Ezekiel YouTube. You gotta lay off the toxicity, my guy. Uh, round 11, whites. We'll get up a destroyed ore, and we'll be fine. Where is it? There we go. Absolutely vibing. All right. If he some for some reason all outs us, uh, we'll get up more destroyers and boost. But I doubt he will. I don't think Ezekiel's the type of guy to do a round thirteen all out out of the blue. He does have a lot of money though. Has he not been farming? I'm confused. I don't know if he has been farming. Unless I'm just dumb. Unless I'm dumb. Young, dumb, and broke. Okay. I feel like he's gonna rush us around 16 probably. Which case, we'll get up some more defense for sure. I don't think we can farm much more here. He's definitely rushing us. We're fine against that now. Yeah, we're absolutely vibing. 
So our defense is very solid. Um, This should handle us for a while. I mean, if he sends a Moab, we can get a Tornado Wizard or Boost. Either of those will be fine. Defense. I think we want one of these on Strong. We'll probably do the top one on Strong, Close, and First. That's good. That's good targeting. Is he sending us a Moab here? He is right when I go for... Perfect. Legit, right when I go for a farm is when he sent a Moab. What is going on here? All right, that should be an easy defend for the boys. I don't know why he sent, you know, beats me. Maybe he'll all out next round or something. Or is he just dead here? Does Ezekiel go down? We're fine against that. And we're fine. GG's to Ezekiel. And that is the end of the video, boys. So if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do right now. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 5k now. We're skipping 3k. We're skipping 4k. We're going for the straight 5k. So if you want to help me get there, show your support. Until then, Ryan Mahalik out. Peace, boys.